True Crime Stories has been brought to you through the courtesy of J. Edgar Hoover and the Federal Bureau of Investigation. This brings to a close the authenticated story of the Osage Indian murders. As we take our leave from Osage County, we conclude the doctors, the Shawn brothers, were never pursued by the legal system for having certainly helped poison Molly. Ernest's brother, Byron Burkhardt, was tried as an accomplice to Anna's murder. Kelsey Morrison said at his trial, Byron got her drunk, and I did the rest. Byron was released after a hung jury. William Hale, the ringleader of the deadly plots, was found guilty and sent to Leavenworth for life. He would write letters back home to his Osage friends. Dear friends, how are y'all? I never had better friends in my life than the Osages. And I was a true friend to them. I had rather live a gray horse than any place on earth. I will be back with you before many moons. How is my friend Da Kahike? Your true friend, W.K. Hale. Hale was released in 1947. The parole board cited his record as a good prisoner for his early release, but not everybody was happy. This man, he is being released because he paid off politicians and nobody cares about the Osage lies. Hale was not supposed to set foot in Oklahoma again, but according to relatives, he often visited them. What do you want for lunch, William? If only that damn thick-head Ernest had kept his fool trap shut, we'd be in clover today. William Hale died in an Arizona nursing home. He lived to 87 years. <laughs> Ernest Burkhart was sentenced to life imprisonment at the Oklahoma State Penitentiary. Aren't you the one who tried to kill his Indian wife for the oil money? Years later, he was granted a pardon for his crimes and once again moved back to Osage County, where he lived out his days with Byron in a trailer park north of the city. Pass me a beer, brother. Got a lot for my lucky strike? After Molly divorced Ernest, she lived with her new husband, John Cobb, on the reservation. She died of diabetes on June 16, 1937. Her obituary in the local paper said simply, Mrs. Molly Cobb, 50 years of age, passed away at 11 o'clock Wednesday night at her home. She was a full blood Osage. She was buried in the old cemetery in Gray Horse, beside her father, her mother, her sisters, and her daughter. There was no mention of the murders. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed yourselves and I look forward to seeing you back here again. To not miss out on any new content, press the subscribe and notification button. Have a great day.